maths.tutor.biz and maths.dvds.co.uk higher mathematics lesson 35 part 1 and this is going to be about volume of pyramids and the volume of a cone now these are all pyramids including the cone, the cone is just a circular based pyramid and they all have the same formula for the volume of them. The volume of any pyramid is a third the area of the base multiplied by the perpendicular height. So if you have the area of the base you third that multiplied by the perpendicular height. The cone is exactly the same, it's a third the area of the base, which just happens to be a circle, multiplied by the perpendicular height. So that's what you'll see as the volume of a cone formula. But it's all part and parcel of pyramids. Find the volume of these pyramids. So here we've got a hexagonal based pyramid, we've got the vertical height is 6 and the area base is 30. So the volume is a third, the area of the base times the height. So a third of that is 10, 10 sixes are 60. And that will be cubic centimetres for volume. Now this is a triangular based pyramid, even though the vertex is above one of the corners of the triangle. It's still a triangular based pyramid. So the volume will be a third the area of the base. Now the area of the base, because it's a right angled triangle, will be half 5 times 6. Half the base times the perpendicular height of that triangle. So that's the third the area of the base and that we've got to multiply by the perpendicular height which is 4. So this is 5 6 is a 30. So you've got a third times a third times a half times thirty. So a sixth of that is five. Five fours are twenty. Volume of this cone. Volume of a cone is the same as the volume of a pyramid. It's a third the area of the base times the perpendicular height. So it's a third times pi times the radius squared and that's the diameter so I'll have to do a bit of halving of that so that's the radius squared times the perpendicular height so this is a calculator job so a third we'll use the fraction button one fraction button three that's a third multiplied by pi multiplied by 3.4 squared multiplied by 9.6 the answer is 116.213 bloody bloody let's do it to the nearest whole number shall we and that is cubic centimeters and the last question the cone is cut into two parts labeled P and Q so this is a large cone being chopped so you've got a top bit and a bottom bit that's still a cone, this is actually called a frustrum of a cone and it says find the volume of part Q in other words find the volume of the frustrum of the cone so if we do the volume of the large pyramid before it's cut which is going to be a third pi r squared h and subtract the volume of this pyramid third pi r squared h we'll have the volume of the frustrated cone, frustrum. So here we go, third pi r squared, which is going to be half of that, which is 4.05 squared, multiplied by the height of the whole thing, which is those two added together, which is 12.3, minus a third, multiplied by pi, multiply by the radius of this squared which is half of that multiply by the height of that so 
it's a case of now pressing some buttons. So I'll have a bracket. We'll use those brackets. Third, fraction button three, multiplied by pi, multiplied by 4.05 squared, multiplied by 12.3, close brackets, minus, now that one, open brackets, one, fraction button three, multiplied by pi, multiplied by 2.7 squared, multiplied by 8.2, close brackets, equals, So we'll do that to this whole number again, I think. And that's the end of that lesson. Lesson 35, part 1.